It's indeed my honor, my privilege, and my absolute joy to introduce Ms. Geeta Nagu to the gathering. While I'm going to read out what she has written and sent, and we know her better, I would also like to add a few things that I know about her from past 20 years since I have been in touch with her. Thank you so much, Ms. Geeta, for doing this for us at such a short notice and agreeing to it immediately. Ms. Geeta Nagu, Managing Director of VNCT Global, one of the largest villa developers of Tamil Nadu. She hails from a family background with 100 years of business legacy who are into multiple business verticals. Ms. Geeta Nagu loves to spread her infectious positivity and hope to people. Apart from being a busy entrepreneur, she does a powerful program in national TV channels and Dubai radio shows called Life is Beautiful, where she inspires thousands of listeners and viewers. She was awarded as Women Achiever of 2017 in Real Estate Industry by MCHI Kredai Mumbai in the year 2017. She was honored as Women Entrepreneur of the Year 2019 by UN Foundation Global Entrepreneur uh, Council. She practices spiritual entrepreneurship and believes in giving back to the society through her inspiring work by service to the clients and by elevating and enriching her employees. She also heads VNCT Foundation, which funds for education of deserving children. VNCT Foundation has touched lives of several hundreds of children and paved way for their bright future. From my end, I have known Ms. Geeta to be a dedicated, sincere and a very involved parent. I have known both her lovely children, Surya and Isha, and I have seen the way she has been such an instrumental person in their lives. She practices everything that she preaches. So she will not sit here and give us unnecessary things or ideas. I know because she has used them as a part of her life. So thank you so much, Ms. Geeta, and welcome you to the celebrations of the 50th year at Sherwood Hall. Thank you. Thank you, Ruchi ma'am, for doing the honors. It is indeed a great pleasure to have Ms. Geeta Nagu as our chief guest. Thank you, Geeta ma'am, for graciously and readily accepting our invite. Happiness cannot be traveled to, owned, earned, worn or consumed. Happiness is the spiritual experience of living every minute with love, grace and gratitude. On that note, I would like to invite Mrs. Geeta Nagu to address the gathering. That was a very uh, warm, lovely welcome by the entire team. And Ruchi, that was a fantastic uh, introduction by you from the heart. And uh, it made me like very emotional. It just took me to being the parent of uh, Surya, which you continue to. But it just took me to the school days of uh, various activities. And Sherwood All uh, coming to today's event, uh, Sherwood All uh, Senior Secondary School celebrating 50 years and Golden Jubilee is a fantastic accomplishment. It's a great institution which has uh, which continues to give quality education, thinking skills, holistic development with morals and values for children. Sherwood All has uh, given to the society very responsible and competent youngsters. And it is a great, extraordinary job done by the management and team, Mrs. Devi Parnichami, Mrs. Uh, Srividya Murali, and uh, your uh, principal, Mrs. Uh, Deepa Krishnan, and uh, your uh, new age, vibrant consultant, Mrs. Uh, Ruchi. And I'm so happy to be part of this, uh, to be today's uh, keynote uh, speaker for your Golden Jubilee celebration, and thank you for giving this opportunity. Now, addressing to the students and the parents today and uh, I'm very excited looking forward to the secret 
I can share with all the students because you're in the beginning, uh, you're in the fresh beginning part of your life and uh, life is so beautiful. It has infinite possibilities and opportunities just waiting for you. So when you're in the beginning stage, all I can just share one big secret which I have figured out throughout my journey of life is just don't quit, don't give up and just keep going on. That is the secret of life. The secret of life and secret of success is all about never quit the game. Just become, be at it all the time and over time you'll become a master at it, but never quit the game. Understand life is full of uncertainties. Life is full of changes. Change is the constant thing in life. Uncertainty is the constant thing. That is a rule for everybody. It is not different for anyone. And this pandemic, there can't be a better teacher for us to tell the truth for than this pandemic and this COVID situation. In the last two years, what it taught to the world is age no bar and the nationality is no bar, economic status no bar, but it was the same. The rule was the same. So in that uncertainty and change, how are you going to the game of life is all about the situations will keep differing. There will be different challenges and situations that is part of life. You don't look at it as a problem. You only look at everything as a situation. And how are you going to endure and keep going? So now throughout the journey of life, what I have understood is when we started, me, me and my husband, we got married very young and we started at 21. And we started doing several businesses. We were startups for seven years and we were failures. We failed in eight businesses. But now looking back, if we are so successful in what we do, that is because the only thing which kept us going was we never wanted to quit. We wanted to learn from each experience and each failure. When we fell down, we would rise up again to walk again, to run again. So we never gave up. You never quit the game. You only learn. See, there are no failures in life. It only teaches you lessons. You need a context to learn. You need a context to gather your experiences. So that is what is your experience. Life is teaching you only life experiences. But from the experience you keep, you don't quit the game, but you have to keep on enduring. For that, what is very, very important, the capital of everybody is positive thinking, positive mindset. That's very, very important over practice. And as a habit, you can start inculcating that as a habit. You must be thinking that life is easier for somebody and somebody gets it very, you know, He's very good in his studies and he was born very intelligent or she's very good in sports. She always has it easy in life or he has it easy. That must that must be going on in several of your minds. But that is not at all true. The Because I'm talking from the other side of life where we have done a long journey. You know, I am I'm close to 50 years old. And so I have figured out life and I'm talking practically on what I have seen. The grass is never green the other side. The grass is green only where you are standing, where you are going to put your time, where you are going to nurture, where you are going to put your efforts, where you are going to nourish and cherish and take care of it. That is where the grass is the best. There is a very cute uh, story which will uh, tell you exactly, it will give you a perspective of what I am saying. There was a mouse and the mouse uh, told God one day, and I don't want to be a mouse. I have to be so scared of the cats all the time and uh, just make me a cat. The God said, OK, if that is what is going to make you happy. I will make you a cat. And then he became a cat. Then after some time, the cat went to the uh, God and went to God and said, no, I have to be scared of dogs all the time. And now I understand dogs are very powerful. Make me the dog and I will not ask for anything more. God said, OK, make up your mind and then become the dog. Then again, the dog went to God and said, men are chasing me on the roads and I'm not peaceful and mankind is the most powerful one. And so I want to be a man. God said, OK, and then made him a man. And when he became the man, then he understood and he went to God and said, I have to be fearing life. I have so much of fears of so many other things and I have to be fearing God. I think God is being most powerful and make me the God. God made him back into the mouse. So what does it say? Whatever you are, you have to endure life. Life is the same for everyone. Everybody has challenges. Everybody has situations. Everybody has things to manage. So in that life is all about how you are not going to use that as an excuse, how you have to live with the mind. So what God told the mouse finally was, it is not who you are. 
it is how you are going to live with the mind of a lion the heart of a lion the mind of a lion so what we need in life is lot of courage lot of confidence and lot of positive thinking this is the core essence of life so this is what is going to make you not quit the game you are doing you whatever you are doing so instead of writing what you are not good at which over time you will manage to get over it but write a list of things what you are good at and start becoming a master in that don't quit that over time when they say you know 10000 hours of practice on something makes you a master in that so you have to get into mastery of what you're doing and becoming because today it has so you have so many opportunities all around you provided you're able to see are you the person who is going to see half glass empty or half half glass full in any situation learn to see the positive side of it it is problem is not a problem the problem lies in how you look at the problem so just start looking at the brighter side of life and that will automatically see you can either be finding problems in any situation or finding solutions in any situation i certainly want to be in a room full of people who can give me solutions i want to be one of the solution finder and i want to be surrounded with people who are going to give me solutions in any situation so that is how you need to you know tune up yourself if you reflect on life when you are young when you are starting in school when you are starting in college everybody has big dreams everybody thinks oh i'm going to make it very big in life life is so easy life is so cool and these these are my dreams of life and everything is fine but everybody starting like that but how many actually reach where they want to reach 90% don't reach where they want to reach it is only 10% who reach where they want to reach in life why is it like that what happens to the other 90% the other 90% somehow in the middle of the journey of life during the academic years during later years they lose their enthusiasm they are not self motivated they lose their energy some challenges will happen and they will just get weak and they will give up they will get bored they will get tired they'll get distracted they'll get into wrong habits they will get into wrong company they will start squandering their time and opportunities they will not be taking life very seriously they will not take owner ownership of their own life and so many things happen to them and they settle for mediocrity they under, they just kind of come into an acceptance mode that it is okay to be mediocre and i will just get hidden in this whole thing and there are several people they start comparing themselves with people who are who haven't who are lesser than them or who are equal to them they will not want to get inspired by somebody who is overachieving or who has figured it out so they just set into the complacent mode and they get into the mediocre mode this is what happens this is reality whether you like it or not this is reality and 90% of people this is what happens during the journey of life so i certainly today when i am addressing to you i want each one of you to belong to that 10% club to that super successful club in whatever you want to do in life just be the best be at it don't quit and just get better day by day by day it is not like you have to cross the whole mountain overnight everything is bite sized make a life plan everybody should have a life plan life goal and you are at such a formative young age it's you know you have the whole canvas in front of you make your life plan as of now when you're in you know junior classes what is your goal for your 10th what is uh, you want to do in your, your 11th and 12th what is the you know what is it you want to if you can figure it out now or whatever you can see till now you make a plan and be wedded to the plan be committed to the plan these are the things which is going to make you go forward step by step you don't have to jump mountains today make it into bite sized goals and just celebrate small victories and keep going step by step then over the journey of life when you look back you would have traveled so much of distance and so much of discipline would have happened and so much of you would have developed yourself i can give you n number of examples my daughter when she was uh, 11 years old she was uh, writing she was writing something in her room when i went and i asked her what she was doing she said uh, she was writing a book a story book i said you i asked uh, do you mean a real book you're writing a book and she said yes i have written some three four chapters and i didn't want to tell you because uh, till i finish it but now that you have uh, found yes this is what i'm writing i said okay then uh, when will you finish it she said uh, maybe uh, in uh, by this month or the next month i should be finishing and i said will it be completed she said i have started something and i will complete what i start and i will give you the book by next month 
I said, okay, if you promise to give me the book by next month, I promise to launch it. And I promise, I promise to call Shobha Day from Bombay and as a woman author and then to launch your book. And so she kept up her word at the age of 11. She wrote and she started. See, life is all about when you start something, you should know to finish it. So she finished and she gave me the book and I launched the book with Shobha Day. So that set up her. Then she understood that what it is to start, what it is to finish. I kept up the word of launching the book and making her taste her own success and put her in a pedestal of that she has responsibilities and she's all the time going to rise up and deliver to that. So that is what it is. You make a commitment to, your, to yourself. You start, you finish, you tell your parents, I want to do it. Declare it to your friends, declare it to your teachers, declare it to your parents that I will start it. I will finish it. I want to reach here. When you declare it to somebody, you have to make it happen, right? You will start working towards it. You cannot be scared by not telling what you want to and kind of thinking you're playing it safe. By playing it safe, you're not going to grow. When you declare what you want to do, you might only re achieve it half of what you declare, but still nevertheless, it will push you towards that direction. So just live a very courageous life, very brave life and just endure it and never quit the game. For all of this, when we say, you know, you need to have a positive mindset, endurance, resilience. Life is all about adaptability. The survival of the fittest is about the most adaptable one. It is not the strongest one. It is not the biggest one. It is all about the most adaptable one. So in all of this, we need to uh, inculcate some habits in us. The most important habits at this age, what I can just uh, you know say is, first is Dhinacharya. Dhinacharya is what are your daily habits? How you do something is how you're going to do everything. So your daily habits could be, you could be an early riser, you can belong to the 5 a.m. club and so much could be achieved in the morning. You can, uh, you know, uh, dedicate for your health, your sports, your uh, jogging or whatever into uh, for your uh, physical fitness. And then uh, you can get into reading your academics and morning 15 minutes invest into content listening, uh, which is going to help you for your improvement. It is self-development content listening, which is, you know, a very important ingredient. Every day invest 15 minutes for your self-development. That will help you achieve it. That will help you achieve your goals and give you all the qualities you need to prepare for life. So when when you do all of this in the morning and you start developing daily habits and then you start making a to-do list for the day, you plan your day, you plan your tasks, and then you're, you know, you're not wasting a day and the daily habits and your daily discipline will kind of navigate. It will become a strong navigator to your life. And the next important thing in your life for everybody is your self drive and self motivation. Don't expect somebody to come and motivate you every day. We all have to be self driven and self motivated. And it is like air in a balloon, you know, the balloon flies higher and when you fill air and the air will come down over time, it's not going to last and we have to fill the air again in the balloon. So like that, what is going to keep you self motivated is you reading self help books, you reading con you listening to content, self help content. As I said, the daily dosage of 15 minutes. When you do that on an ongoing basis, you are self motivated on your own. And you have that self drive and which will also keep you on your path of purpose and passion. And the next important thing what you can do is you need to surround yourself with very positive people. First, you need to be a very positive person. You need to have goals. You need to have your, uh, you know, your plan, life plan in place. You need to surround yourself with friends and people who are also talking about what they want to do in life. And you have to encourage and motivate each other, help each other, and you have to celebrate the victory of your friends and celebrate the success of others. So by this, you start developing qualities, you know, instead of feeling inferior or instead of feeling superior or instead of feeling jealous and uh, or so many other negative feelings are there. So which you can avoid by encouraging you, by encouraging the right qualities in yourself as well as surrounding yourself with people with vision, people with plans, people who are very positive and who are going to pep you up. You need to pep them up and you know that way you become a very strong peer group of a very positive group. That is very important at your formative years. Life too it is important but nevertheless now it is very important. And the next important uh, factor is you should have a mentor, you should have a guiding force. 
and you should kind of review your plan with them it could be your father it could be your mother see a friend in them you know they are uh, wishing the best me as a parent i can only say that as parents we wish the best for our children and uh, so you just have to start trusting and uh, opening up to us and you should see the friend in us and because we are the best uh, guiding force for you so you can have us as your mentors as your guiding force or you can look at somebody in your school or uh, somebody uh, in your family and friend circle your parents friend circle and you can have somebody as a mentor and a guiding force and you should review your plan with them monthly once you should have a review mechanism of having you know planned review your action versus plan and what is the gap and how it needs to be filled up this on a regular basis if you are able to do it then whatever it is you will be able to achieve life is uh, wonderful life is full of as i keep saying uh, possibilities everybody deserves a fantastic life and you are the author of your life you have to take responsibility for your life you are the author for your life uh, there is no blaming game in life when we take ownership of our life when we understand that we are the author of our life and you are going to write a fresh new book and you are so young and so much can be figured out and you have fantastic parents and you are in a fantastic school and you have uh, you surrounded by very inspiring uh, teachers and mentors make use of every opportunity which is given to you be very grateful for all the opportunities which is given to you and uh, how how can you remain grateful to the opportunities which is given to you by maximizing it by making use of it and you know so much can be done in each one of our lives and life is so beautiful life is grand i wish everybody a fantastic life and to live a very glorious life and uh, thank you once again uh, uh, to the school for inviting me today i'm so happy to have been here and uh, sharing uh, my few thoughts with uh, the students of shavadol and uh, thank you ruchi once again for everything thank you ma'am for your motivational and inspirational speech which is really required at this hour